back to that's uh, the Bucky Rage Man away with his all his guitars and dropped off another one. I've got quite a rather interesting looking bass I'm quite looking forward to fixing. There is a cue, so I've got other guitars to do before I can get to his, but that bass is up attempt. I don't think it needs very much done to it. Um, at least to play. Maybe a pre-video. Maybe get two videos out of it before I touch it. Oh, what? All right. Right. So, let the madness begin. What I'm going to do here, I don't quite have a plan as yet. So this one, yeah, so this is the neck pickup. So as I said before, I want to put the, that's the tap wire, right? So I'm not using that, right? So the start wire, that's the one I want to go to earth when this button's pushed in. So the start wire goes on there, bang. The end wire goes on there, bang. And that's that pot in and phasing. I don't need to touch it again. So I'm going for it. I'm going for it that way. I'm doing some of this outside and some of it will be trying to do inside the inside the body. I'll be at 480. There we go. Right. So this is the, the start wire, which might not technically be the correct term. This is the one that goes to earth. Um, so in... When the button's in, this gets pushed to earth. And as I always say, put solder on the wire and put solder on the contact. What you're sticking it to before you try and attach the two together. I have already put solder on these bits when I cut them to length. So we should be all right. Um... I don't know, it's not normally quite so necessary to be super neat with these things, but see when you've got four push push, four push, push pots going in one uh, guitar, it's worthwhile just um, making it a bit neater. Just in... Sorry, yes, this is me trying to keep it. All I'm doing here is putting the, the washer on the front. I'll probably just, just enough to keep it in. I find it easier see, just to break it up into sections like this. I mean, obviously, I've still got a lot. There's an awful, awful lot to do, but just if I just do one pot at a time, this is quite difficult to get at without bashing the camera. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Washer and it's on. Right, okay. One pot done. I kind of tempted to actually. These wires are all separate, right? So these these are these are going to be chite and annoying in the way. They're not done by me. You can be able to tell which wires are done by me. So next, I'll do the volume control for the, which is this one. So as you can see, nothing on here. Actually, does this have a coil split in it? This does have a coil split on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another, just to be difficult, I'm going to put it on this side. Both, both these sides of these switches are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. For a coil split, you're only using one. That's why. That's how you can do both pickups. So when you use one side for one pickup and one for the other, but not in this guitar. So I've got a wee shitty bit of wire here. Um, this is what the guy used as earth wire previously, which I'm actually finding quite useful. I might have to try and get some of this, but I'm not. I'm not using it for earth wires. I'm not using it in a position where it could short out anything else. What I'm doing? Try, try to push it through the wee stupid hole in this switch. There you go. It's burning my finger. It's so hot. Right. And then, as I said, it'll just be a, a little bit neat with it because there's so much in here. I'm going to bend it around like that and then around like that and then onto there. Ah, it's quite, quite neat. Quite neat. Um, I actually stole this idea off um, one of Jimmy Moon's sons. It's like, see this, rather than I've got tons of solder, right? So you just cut a bit off and then have a wee bit that you don't have to carry that big cut canister thing about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing. And then... I'll just give it a bit of a wiggle, make sure it's fine. Have I just put that to the middle? Ah, but it doesn't matter. 
I'll just make it a bit more confusing for someone later on when they realise that I've done this a slightly different way from what we would expect. Because you could normally you put the tap wire to the middle and then put it, but it doesn't matter. All you're doing is connecting two things together. So in this case, it's fine. I'm just going to double check and make sure there isn't anything I've done wrong. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. I mean, this, this really, isn't it? Well, the, these, these three wires here are what's coming from this switch up here. So if I look at that, if I select neck pickup, yeah, uh, on the pickup selector, I'll get the right colour of wire. So put, what it's doing is it's joining either the green to the white or the red to the white. So green and white, nothing. So it's green is the one I want. It's white's the middle, is it? The middle one's white, right? So white's the output. So the green is going to the output of this volume control. The output of this volume control is there, and because this was wired wrongly as a tone, there's no um, no solder on that first. Sorry, the th terminal three or the first one when you're looking at it from this side. Uh, so I'll put some solder on that, make it stick. You've got to break like a the the seal of the whatever it is something. You're you're basically breaking a seal. The surface tension, I think, is. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how right that is, but something like that. So it's. it's I just said green there, didn't I? I'll regret it if I didn't. Right. I'm, I'm just gonna take that back down there so it's out the way. Right. I see that. That's just. If you're gonna do it properly, do it properly. This is guy thin wire. I don't like using wire as thin as this. This is wire that's been cut off a, a neck pickup. I'm pretty sure. Um. Rather than because it's very thin, it doesn't. I mean, there's just if you think about it, the pickup in a guitar, um, right. So, this is the output, so this is going to the switch, so this is going in this one here. Bang, output in, right, and then the two wires that are coming on off this, one of this is a tone, does it need to be as long as that? I don't, I don't want to make it so it's too long, try and keep it sort of neat, how long does it actually have to be? Maybe take a wee bit off that just to, see because I've got that big massive pile of wire now I can be frivolous with it. Not going to throw out the wee bit of wire because sometimes you just want a wee bit of wire, so I won't throw it out. But I can't. I want maybe want it a bit that long, and then oh, do this. You can run the tone from the in or the out of the pot. Um, I'm going to run it to the. Um, doesn't matter. There's different ways of wiring these things. It's like it's not. There's not a. There, there's a wrong way, but there's several right ways. I suppose there's several wrong ways as well. <laughs> I remember buying a guitar one time. It was a. I don't think the wiring's quite right. I, I, don't, I put I put the wires where I thought they were going to go, and I was Paul, and the guy had put every single wire that was in the guitar on one lug of one of the pots, and it's like, well, how could that ever have been right, really? I'm going to come in from the top, and I'm going to run it from the. Vegety, vegety. Do I run that down the middle of that? Would that look quite cool? Nah. And this is for see if you'd like three hands, that'd be a handy thing. Uh, uh, so that's the tone connected. And the actual output of the pickup, as long as that have to be, that's fine, is the one that came out that um the face switch. So there's only one wire coming from the pickup just now because the other one's although it's not currently earth, it will be earth. Because um, it's coming from this pot. So this is the one that's coming out the face switch. And then once I've done this, that's the main bulk of the... That's the pickup now working well. I've not connected to the output jack yet. But 
This is the pickup working. You can try and poke it through the hole if you feel if you feel lucky, punk. But um, I wouldn't normally bother. What I, I, what I think a lot of people do, which I don't like doing, is um, kind of. Oh, you just put the wire through first, and then twist it all up, and then just put solder on it. No, no, you got to put. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um. Well, it'll work, but it's not. It's not. It doesn't last as long. It's not as good. It's you're not guaranteed a good contact. That's gone incredibly badly, really, isn't it? I've just got too much, too much on it there. Right. And if if something if you're having to hold the the solder on for, and on and on for any length of time, you just start melting plastic on the sleeves and all these things. So you kind of want it to want it to try and go on really quickly. Yep, yep. So that's that, that, and that. And then the last one is the tap wire, which I'm going to put to. You know, when it's up, it taps. So when it's down. You don't want it to tap. Yes. So you don't want this to be connected to earth when it's down. So if I put it on here. And as I'm not putting them, um, you notice I'm not putting solder onto the the terminals on the switches because these are, I'm, I'm reusing the old switches so they already had solder on them. Um, that's a relatively thick. This, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't believe how much simpler this is looking already. Because I mean, that's half of it done. Half the guitar's wired. Okay, I've still got earth wires to do, but I'll do them neatly. Sometimes you can put bolts on easily. I'm just gonna have another wee think and make sure. Definitely, right. The neck pickup is definitely yes. I've just done the neck and it's in the right position. And there's enough room and you can sort of see what's going on. And that's, what the fuck's that? What have I missed out? It's come off. That bastard. Right, okay. So, that one obviously wasn't on well enough. I'm running that from the output of the tone. Output of the, the solid, 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 solid. Right. What I'm going to try and do here is do some cosmetic surgery. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and put. Well, that's there's there's an earth coming from that as well. So that's got to go into the top of the pickup. So if I kind of bend that round there kind of out the way like that yep okay and that, that's the earth from the the shielding from the actual pickup i'll put that on just now while i'm here bang and then that there is that and that there is that so if i kind of do that and kind of poke that down there put that that, 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 that yep see we're looking sort of kind of on the neat side. I'm just going to leave the bits of tape on them that have what they're called on them just in case something goes wrong later on or in case anyone else ever tries to get into this guitar and thinks it's me that put all the stupid different sized wires and different types of wire and all that stuff on it. So they don't think it's me. I do actually have a socket set here so I can tighten that up so it stops moving. Yep, that's fine. And then... Just do not move. Okay, so that's the the neck pickup fitted and running. All I need to do is connect the the output jack to it now. There are there's earth wires kicking about everywhere. We're just going to connect them all up, all up at the end. Don't worry about them just now. Right. So now we're on to the bridges. Right. So this has got. Um, I might actually, am I going to have to use the my wee super diagram to get this? I think I am actually. Um, because this is a, the blower switch, which I've never done before. And that is the volume control. 
So the tap wires go to this. That's the tap wires there. <laughs> you know, the, the, th the thickest wires in the guitar are the tap wires. And this, this is this is not my soldering, but it's, 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 it's going to be all right. So, so, so already out the window has gone my methodical approach. I'm now just doing it whatever way it goes. Oh. Okay. I just realised what I've just done there. The reason I hadn't put this wire, the earth wire, on the on the, on the other volume control is because this is the one I was going to use for the volume for the neck pickup. Because the neck pickup doesn't have the blower on it, and the thing about the blower is, uh, I, I, if if you if you've got uh, it makes sense to me. Do I leave that just now? Do the tone first. Do the tone first. There we go. So the tone, this lug goes to earth and your main lead line that comes from the volume control goes to there. I'm going to cut an extra bit of wire. Just put that on first. You can see my super accurate measuring system. And how long has this one been on for? 15 minutes, okay, okay. The thing is, this is, this is me going up here. Oh, you can wire Jimmy Page wiring in half an hour. No, I can wire Jimmy Page wiring in half an hour if I'm the one that did all the preparation work. It's taken me, you know, well, it took me all day to decide that I had to basically just stripping it down and doing it again was the only, the only option. Next time this happens, that's what I'm going to do. Someone goes, like, oh, I've got this guitar, blah, 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 and it's all just looks like absolute madness. I'm just going to just rip it to bits and not bother spending an entire day trying to make it work, you know, for the opportunity to go up. You know, it could just be one wire, and I might be able to just put one wire on, bang, and then it's fixed in five minutes, and then, you know, it's like... See what I just did there? Tone control, not the volume control. So that's the tone part of the tone control done. Right, and what does my switch tell me to do with the blower thing? Uh, earth in the middle, it's already there. Oh. Oh, it's got to do the other half as well. Oh God, right, this is, this is, this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, right, so the output of the three-way, which was the white wire, has to go to the tone pot. I don't think it's long enough. It's possibly long enough. I don't like it. I'm going to, I don't like that, the look of that either. I'm going to tr trim it and add a wee stupid bit on at the end, taped on, just so it's got a good connection. This, the soldering that was on this was terrible. It was more burnt than soldered. You know, if the wire's looking, isn't looking shiny and stuff like that, I would rather not use it. This is the, the whole output of the whole guitar. I would rather it was solid. Plus I'll be able to demonstrate how to connect two wires together. And it would be nice if I had the proper heat shrink tubing, which I don't currently have. So it's just going to be tape. <laughs> See, this, this nice thick wire, lots of, lots of room for effort, stupid wee thin spindly crap. And then join to do together, which is always fun because you need four hands. So if I hold it there and there and there and there, like that, okay, that, that, do that. It doesn't look great, but it's, it's at least solid. Um, and it's getting a bit of. I'm sure there was red insulating tape kicking about somewhere. I'll definitely get it sitting on it. Ooh. So the <laughs> Alan the Bucky Rage guys are up here. Yeah, it's, I need to get. I need to go and have a look at my pedals. Some of them are cutting out. Is it up here? Yeah, some of them had beer spilt on them and stuff like that. Like, All right, okay. And he, he showed me when he was in the boot of his car. My God, it looks like he's found him in a swamp. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty surprised they actually work. I told him to buy switch cleaner, but I was thinking, it's like looking at it, it's not need switch cleaner either. 
a scrubbing brush and wire brush and dental is what they want before you even actually go look at them. Um, that point of view. So that, see, this tape is not um, actually joining these two wires together. It's just there to stop them touching something else. Take note, whoever it was wired this guitar the first time. It's like if you've got like exposed bits of wire kicking about, it can just jump across terminals. Things start cutting in and it. Uh, that probably doesn't need to be as long as that. In fact, it doesn't need to be anything like as long as that. I'm, I'm, I've done all that just to add an inch, but I mean, I'd rather have a, so it wasn't pure super tight. I mean, whoever it was cut the wires for this was, was um, didn't really, they, they hadn't left anything at all on some of the wires. So it was, if you took the neck pick up, all the, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the wires disappeared from the cavity because the wires were, like literally almost taut. Right, so this is the tone control and this is the output from the switch. So this is the second side. This isn't the blower half. Right, oh, it's kind of is, actually. There's no, that's not been used. Put some solder on that, but solder on that, but make it nice. I don't know if I need to use that, but put some solder on it anyway. Right, where's my diagram? My diagram says. Um, that goes to the jack socket. 3B goes to in, so when it's in the 3B, yep, okay. So this is the output of the 3-way. When this button is pushed in, the output of the 3-way. Yep, that's the output of the 3-way. So when I'm, yes, when this is pushed in, the jack socket, which is going in the middle lug, will be coming from the the 3-way switch. And then... The other one will be coming direct from another, or create another output from that. Okay. That's going to be a fun one to get in at. <laughs> yeah. Who's making it up as they go along? So that needs to have the output jack on it. Now I think the, the wire on the output jack was shite, was it? Yeah, not great. That's all right. That's, that's all right. It'll, it'll do. It'll do. Mm, yeah, it'll, it'll sort of do. At least that this wire's not too short. It was too short earlier on, but now that I'm using this blower switch, it should be fine. So it means that the entire guitar is actually going through this pot, or not through the pot, but through the um through the switch of the pot. Either way. What is this crap wire? <laughs> See, I almost did there. I almost forgot to put this through the guitar first. It's now going to start looking a bit more populated in here. Um, I'm going to put a... Shit, what the right screw is? What the right screw is? One, two, three. What is it? It's not... I seem to have too many screws. That's never much fun. Put two of them in just now, just enough to hold this. That's a much smaller screw. And so on. There's enough there to get it to catch. It just stops it banging about. That's not the right screw. That is. Sort them later. Right. So this is the output from the switch. It's going to there. It's crucial that I get this earth wire running around all the pots as well, because all, all the earth, it doesn't matter where the earth comes from, as long as everything's there. It's a really thin wire. Right, there we go. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Solid, and then I'm just going to run that straight onto the top there. Because all, all, all earth will be connected later anyway. If I just batter that on the top there, like that. Doesn't look very good, but it's fine. Right, okay, that's one, two. Right, so I've now got another wire. That's fine, that's fine. I'm going to run another wire from the bottom line there, which is going to be coming from the... Yep, yep, yep.
Yeah, put the bridge pick up, that's fine. Yes. So I don't need to put in more into that neck pickup. I'm just talking for myself. How long are we going down? 25 minutes, still not ready for a not ready for a break. Yes, that soda was quite hot when I put it in my tongue. It wasn't that hot though. Get my stomach rumbling. Right. right, on the other side of the switch, so that's the... I've now got to bypass the... Um, the coil split as well. Because if I just use if I just use this just now, it means if, I, if you've got the bridge pickup coil split and you do this, use the blower switch, the bridge pickup will still be coil split. Whereas this way, rather than putting the, the coil split, I have seen this. It's good. It, it works mechanically in my head. It works. Um, I don't know how you how other people have done it. And I want it to be when this is in its earth. Yeah. So what this is instead of sending the, the the tap wires to earth. Um, on as usual, I did with the other pickup. On this one, I'm sending the tap wires to this wire, so that when this when this button is pushed in, it's going to earth. But when the button is not pushed in. It's not doing anything. Thus, it will make it. It will stay as a humbucker. Is that everything that has to go on this? So we've got the. That's coming from the that. That's. That's coming from the switch. So there you go. Made made it. That's going to the output jack. That is the. Going to go into the output of the volume control. That's just the tone control. So these two can actually, uh, these two can actually go together. Yes, I think a, a blow switch might might actually be meant to disconnect the the tone control as well, but this one isn't. You need an extra switch actually. Maybe that's maybe that's why. Why this would be an an unorthodox way of doing it. But I really, I, I want to, put, I want to put up. Um, I'm going to put up the, the two photos at the end because I mean, I'm already looking at this and going, okay, it looks quite complicated and stuff like that because it is relatively complicated, but it's not the absolute monkey mess that it was before. <laughs> How many? Why have I got so many wires? Bridge start, bridge end, bridge earth. Okay, that's fine. Yep, yep. <sighs> so that there, I need to. I might actually, actually twist the two of those together. I've got three things going to one terminal. I don't like that, but it's the way it has to be. I don't like three wires going to one terminal. Do I, wonder, do I run the tone control off the first one? I think I might. And do, I, do I cut them both to the same size? Getting confusing, getting confusing. I'm talking myself out of something. Right, yeah, just do that. So that's the output. The tap wire wasn't even in here. The kind of tap wire just goes to the center. That's fine. Big, heavy bastard tap wire. Far more heavy than it needs to be. Yep. The guy had mains cable, so that's what we use. Solid, right. And then that, this wire here is the one that's going to that. I wonder if I'll get a video of this. I wonder if I'll have this guitar playing tonight. No. 
Lost to Sober. Cut another bit. It's actually quite handy. See, just see all this talking I'm doing. Obviously, not all the talking, but quite a lot of it. I'm kind of, it's kind of going on in my head when I'm doing this anyway. Talk my way through it, going, "No, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that." Blah blah blah. All that crap. Don't think I'm insane. Um, yeah, six foot four inches in down position. That's you keep going. Up position itself, so it goes to there, right? There's just a bit. Of, Now we're starting to get a uh, starting to get a little bit more populated in here. As I said, I'm, I'm leaving these bits of tape on that tell you what things are, just in case in the future somebody else wants to do something that just makes it easier. Because these pickups don't have colour codes the way, like I see more Duncan does. just doesn't really care about that. That's coming from the output of the pickup. Oh, I've got to put solder onto the input lug of this again. Mm -hmm. Right. So the red is the one that goes to the three base switch. So I want one, I definitely want that going to the middle one. <laughs> that done it there. Got now it's on. Right, that one there is the output and the tone both come off the same thing. So I kind of know the output. The output's got to come off this one. I put the tone on the input. So that's the. Output wire. I'm also I'm kind of trying to point these wires coming in from sort of the angle that's so they're not kind of bending at ninety degrees and stuff like that when I've, when I've, when it's actually fitted to the inside. I think I'm, gonna even, I'm not going to even attempt to do the left-handed soldering. That's bound, I'm about to stab myself in the eye doing that. Right, so that's the tone and the bypass switch out the way. No, that's the the bypass switch and the output connected up. Still got the. I'm going to run the tone off the input, it not make any difference, I'll do it either way. And then we'll get tight and tight, what's that? The input, right, so that's one input, not my wire. That, that and that, and that's the end. Earth, this one doesn't need to do anything, right, okay. This one can go on here, and then this one is the tone, which is inexplicably cut just slightly too sharp for comfort, but that's all right. Yep, 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 yep. So I think can I get that in? Yep, yep, yep. So really, all I've got to do now is earths and we're away. Unfortunately, I've taken the strings off this guitar because I had to take the pickups out to try and find out what the hell the crazy mental wires were doing. I 
again. For some reason, these these pots don't want to take. Look at this. Stuff some of these things kind of don't, don't look too bad. That's an earth that can just get kind of tucked in there. These wires are already all connected. And then that is an earth. That's an earth. That's an earth. That's an earth. So there's the earth coming from the bridge, which I will connect to this pot, not the bridge pickup, the actual bridge bridge. So you've got these are an earth wire coming from the bridge bridge. So your fingers earth it when you're playing. That can go in there. So quite a lot of things stuck to this one. That's one. That one. And this is the earth from the. I think it's from the three-way switch. It doesn't really matter. Earth is earth is earth is earth. Down to earth. Rainbow album with Graham Bonnet singing. This is. I, I know. That, 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 this is a, a, a silly place to put it, but I'm going to put this away over here just because there's hundreds of room. Um, it's just an earth again. All the earths are going to get joined together with one wire in a second anyway. Just because the wire's long, it means I don't have to cut it. Those are my little bastards. Earth. Yep. And then that's the the actual earth from the bridge. Yeah, so. Somebody get whoever it was did this. They used the they used a shielded cable, but they used just the shield bit. There's nothing actually going through the actual signal bit. So like, what? What's your thinking? Don't know. Dad said, "What was he thinking?" And my dad used to go, like, "They didn't." <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's exactly it. So like I said, that's now all all the earth wires somewhere onto one of these pots. But all these pots want to be earthed anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run round with probably just, probably actually four bits of wire. And just go boink, 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 boink. Like a big, a big square of bits of wire. Which I suppose I could do with, you know, like the, the exposed wire that the guy had done before. But he'd done it first. So it was kind of all inside. I think that's actually solder. Uh, rather than wire. It's actually quite handy the way this guitar's got these <laughs> bits in it for keeping things. Yeah, so I mean that does that does not look Oh you've not even you've not even been watching me for the last ten minutes, how good. Yeah. So although it does look a little bit mental, it's nothing like as mental as it was before. It's not just a rat's nest. You can actually see the pots look and there's like it doesn't make that it's not completely insane. I use the I use these crappy wires here as earths. A yellow earth, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Because if I don't, they'll be going in the bin. So if I, if I connect this one to this one. Because the, the bridge goes to there, so everyone, everyone has to go to the bridge. And this one could go to there. Booyah. And then I'll connect... That one to this one. That one looks good enough. Oh, I can do it that way. Why not? Why not? Connect that one to these. Nope, not good enough. That is good enough. That can go on there. That's too long. I'll cut that one. There. So we're using yellows as earth here. Bonk, 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 bonk. I don't. It's obviously making a complete square wasn't really. There's not really any point in doing that. I might as well just make it join three sides of the square because they're all connected together anyway. And then that should be this guitar wired. I'm quite annoyed. I wasn't actually looking at the. 40 minutes. I wasn't actually looking. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to see whether you could actually see what I was doing or not there. But you know, I was doing it because it's done now, and I was talking during it. So it's all a learning process. Making videos when I'm actually doing stuff. 
as I slowly go insane from stupid wiring. Bang. Yes. So, the earth from the jack socket is going onto this pot. This pot's connected to that pot, that pot's connected to that pot, that pot's connected to that pot, and the bridge earth is connected to... Where's the bridge earth there? It's connected to that. I don't see any extraneous wires. You can actually see that no, there's no nothing cross... Nothing shorting out, unlike when I got it. But while it, before I do anything else, I'm going to get my trusty socket set out, and I'm going to just make sure they're all tight enough. So they don't spin. And then I'll see if I actually like this guitar. Um, because to be honest, once I saw the wiring, that wasn't working. The, the nut was wrong. So I've sorted the nut, made it play, and then. That pair. All right. Oh, the wiring's doing some crazy stuff. This isn't working right. I'll have a wee look inside it. Oh, it's got push pull pots, does it? Oh God, does it? It's got push pull pots. Someone's tried to do Jimmy Page wiring. I think one of the things is like anyone who's tried to do Jimmy Page wiring is, is an amateur because or they've been. I suppose they've been they've been paid to do it. Right? If you've been paid to do it, that doesn't quite fit. It's a bit tight. Um, because it's kind of not worth it. Taylor will argue, up your own, I need all the sounds. Like, okay, but I was actually talking to Craig when I was in the studio last night with him um, after the end, and he's he did that with his Les Paul. So that was when he was saying, oh, so up here, did you put the, the series parallel switch in? I was like, no, like a, two core splits, a phase, and the blower. I was like, right, okay, the, the blower sounds good. Oh, I could actually probably check if it works before I do this. But the strings have got to go on anyway, and I'm, I don't need to go into the pickups, so the strings, once they're on, they're on. And we'll see whether it's actually working. It's possible I've got the the phase will be wrong, um, but because I've got a phase switch, I can just a case of swapping over the two wires. And there must be a system of when you're when you're putting re putting the strings back on again, trying to get them to so they don't all decide to. Meet with each other. Just cut a little bit short this string. What the was that? Oh. I didn't do the thing. Yeah, whoever. The, the guy. Bob, you're ripped off. The guy was at it. Yeah, so no, no luthier's going to give you a guitar that the they've not put the, the they've not tightened up the tuners. That's <laughs> I've already put that string on. said by this point how long have we gone for 45 minutes oh, that's good we'll really get this within an hour and we'll know whether it works or not whether it work i can't i can't believe that, 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 that was a huge mistake i'm mean, going to talk talk about a learning process how actually okay it was like 45 minutes of, of you know an hour of actual wiring it was more than an hour to take the thing to bits and work out what all the wires did but it really just goes to show that if I had the actual information that was required, I didn't. And I also had to unsolder all the crap and clean up all the joints and change the edges of all the wires and replace some of the wires that were coming from the pickups and all that. So, I mean, it did. 
it should have taken me two two and a bit hours so charge for three sort of thing instead i took all day sunday trying to make it work without just doing the obvious thing which was rip it to shreds and start again for the possibility of it saving me an hour or two it took me six hours and then it took me an hour or two Bastards. not six hours of constant going at it a lot of that was shouting and swearing and having lunch and going to the toilet and trying to calm down <laughs> The string's going to snap. I can tell. If I can get enough wines on it, might not though. Bob's other guitar, the Samica, was playing on the live stream. It went well. I think he, he was expecting that, but he was like, oh, now it needs a new bridge and stuff like that. I managed to make the actual bridge work. I just kind of. I stripped it, it was like a Floyd Rose, I stripped it down to bits, it was all rusted solid and I took it, all the bits out, scraped them and oiled them and actually it's kind of worked out alright. Not rusted, it was like uh, the kind of the chrome coating was bubbling a bit and it kind of gone green. So what do you think? Okay. So what I've not checked is the output jack. Right, we're ready. No, you can just watch the wee, the wee thing in the corner. I'll put some, I'll put some tools away so I don't. Not really put them away. I'm just rearranging them, but and I'll use the. So what it was doing was the volume control was completely turning it off. One of the pickups wasn't working. They were in the wrong place. And so currently we have that should be the net pickup. sound like things are working very well i think something's wrong something's wrong let's see so we've got bridge pickup bridge pickup split cost split the bridge pickup's not working oh it is now fucker Single coil, car split working, tone. Right, so that's the best pickup's working. Neck pickup. Split. Working. What was it? Uh, Right, so in middle position, phasing. Kind of hard to tell when it's not that. Um, that, that, that might be good. Right. Maybe the wrong way around, but that's easy to change. Oh. Mm hmm. Right, and then the last one was the. Right, so we're on. Getting some. And then. I think it's just dirt. What's that giving us? That should be the bridge pickup on full bung and nothing else on. So it is doing that. Yeah. Does it defeat the core split? So bridge pickup. Core split. Defeated. 
that element of it's working. Neck pick up. Bridge defeat. Neck pick up off. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So I think it's working. So basically what I should what I need to do is tune it now. It's kind of hard to tell. You can't tell whether it's in, in phase and out of phase. Unless you can play a chord. That sounds phase to me. So just be a case of swapping down the two wires on the inside. I'll not bother showing you that. There you go, 50 minutes. Rock on. I might actually put this video out tonight as part two, and then part three will be me actually playing the guitar. Rock on. Catch you later. Oops. And stop.